We would have Bochum and Yeshiva for over a year. And Baruch Hashem, the Mamish died tremendous. <coughs> From both Shurim, Rabbi Kavitzke and Rabbi Robinson Shur. So we later to hear from somebody from Chicago. Oh. Aaron will bring us Debra Taylor from Chicago. Oh. Ah. Right, if an animal is walking and it steps on a cleat and it doesn't break, but it rolls somewhere else and breaks, what do you, how do you judge that? Do you judge it from the beginning of the damage and therefore it would be gufo? Or do you judge it based off the end and it beats sorrows? Right, so that's, that's the kasha. Gemara says, Tif should lay me the rabbi. Right, it should be pasha. We have an answer from the case of Rav. What did Rav say? Dama Rav. Zara kli mi reisha gad. Ba acher v'shavu b'makol. Pot. Right, if a guy is standing on top of a roof and he throws a kli down and it's for sure going to break, and a guy comes right before it hits the ground and hits it with a stick and breaks it, the second guy is going to be potter. Why? Dama lay mana tefir tavar. He broke a kli that was already broken. So it should be pasha that we go bust or make. So that's the Gemara. Tosus on this says, Zar Kli Marisha Gag, near it, the Imzar Evan I hate Zalakli, Ba Akhar Vakadam Vishalbur. Right? What if the case was where the guy standing on the roof wasn't throwing the Kli itself, but he had a rock in his hand, or a Kates, or a arrow, and there was a Kli on the ground, and he was throwing the Evan, he was throwing the stone at the Kli, and in mid air, before it hit the Kli, a guy came and smacked it and smacked the Kli with a stick and broke it. Right? What would be the din then? So he says, the Pshita de Pashut that the second guy who hits it with the stick would be Chai. And it wouldn't be shy to say that he broke a kli that was already considered broken. Because if we would say in the case of a stone that we would also we would also say you go make kara, you would never have a case of Tsuros. Because any time that you damage with Tsuros, you would say, you know, really the damage is done from the beginning as opposed to where it shoots out and goes somewhere else. So it would always be done from the beginning, and that would be Gufo. So he says, since if you would say that you would go bust my car by an Evan also, it would, then we would never have a case of uh, Tsuros. Therefore, we can't say it. So you see, you see from uh, Tosos that he's saying that whenever you say Meikara, it seems like it would automatically be Gufo and not Tsuros. That's, that's one thing in Tosos. And then he goes by there and he says, Svaro Pshutu, it's a svar pasha to make a chilek between throwing the object itself or throwing a stone at the foot. And that's it, he doesn't, he doesn't explain it. So, so we'll have to see what that is. So I saw an interesting shot in this Tosos. He says that uh, the Marika says, right, Tosos usually, he's always coming with a question, right? Someone's bothering him or he has something forcing him to say shot. So why, why all of a sudden, it seems kind of random, why is he making a chilek? Between throwing, between throwing the object itself or throwing an, a stone at the object. He says, Tosus was bothered by an implied question, right? Why, why by, right, to, the Gemara is trying to bring an answer to the case of the animal stepping on a cleat. Which way do we go, from the beginning or the end? From the case of throwing a, a from, from Rabba's case where you throw something from the top of the roof. So the Marikash says, I don't get it. How could you bring a riot from there? The case on the top of the roof is a guy himself taking it and throwing it down full force, fully intending with full kavana to break it. So maybe there we could say basa meikara. But maybe the case is that you could apply that also to a case where it's an animal who has no intention. Maybe that wouldn't go basa meikara, you would have to wait for the results. So that's the question bothering Tosos. So come Tosos and says, no, because I have a case of, of me throwing a stone or a chetz at the kli on bottom, and I have full intentions to break the kli. But still, if another guy comes and saves me and breaks it first, I'm going to be fucked. So he shows, Tosa is showing that Kavana is not a factor here, and therefore it's a good comparison. Okay, just something he says. So now, right now it's getting to the real, the real bones of the second. The Kitsaisa comes and says, he brings a beautiful diet from, from the rush later on. The case is where, there's a case where an animal is 
uh, walking in Rosh Hashanah, and he steps on Tzoros, and he shoots them into Rosh Hashanah, and damages in Rosh Hashanah. The Gemara says the din there is going to be that you're chai. Right? And the Rosh there asks, I don't get it, why are you chai? We said in our Gemara, and the on, on the base, that we're going to go bust or make up. So if we go bust or make up, when an animal is walking in Rosh Hashanah, and it shoots the Tzoros in Rosh Hashanah, even though later it damages in Rosh Hashanah, the beginning is in Rosh Hashanah. And we know that Regal is part of Rosh Hashanah. So why are you chai? So Ketoy says, it must be, we see from there, that, no, so, so Tosus would say, I don't get it. I just said that, um, according to me, if it's an Evan, then we don't go make Kara. So what's the Rush's question? I, we should go bust or make Kara by Tsoros. Tsoros is stones. That's, that's what Tosus is saying, that by stones we don't go make Kara. So what's the Rush's question from the case of which is which is around to which is a yafit, right? From Buster Mekar. Why is he asking here? That's a case where you don't go Buster Mekar, according to Tosos. So the Tos says it must be that the Rush argues and says even by stones or chates, um, you would go Mekar. And he argues on Tosos. Right, so so what's what's the Shirish Hamachis between Tosos and Rush that by a chates and an heaven do you go Mekar or not? So Rav Nachum has a Chakira, and how do you, how do you touch the Gemara? How do you learn the Gemara? Right? When, you, when, you step on a, when, you step on a, when an animal steps on a kli and it rolls somewhere else, do you go Basar Meikara or do you go Basar Tabama? He says there's two ways to look at it, and we're going to plug that into Machlechus to explain, to explain the Machlechus. So the first child we're going to say is Tosos. He says it's all about the mice, the mice of Shvir. If, I, if I'm standing on a roof and I throw a kli down, um, what I'm basically doing is I'm completing the Maisa Shvira. I'm taking the object and I'm doing everything I need to do to break it. Nothing else after I throw it down needs to happen for it to break. So is that enough to say, once I complete the Maisa Shvira, is that enough to say it's already considered broken or not? That's the question of the month. So, so using this, we could, we could explain the Svar Pshuta that we didn't, we didn't know what it was. Tosus just says it's a Svar Pasha. So now we could explain it. If the whole if the whole din of, uh, if the whole question of the gemara is is the ma'isa shvira enough? The ma'isa shvira needing to be enough can only be if you're doing it to the kli itself. Because how could the ma'isa shvira be enough if you're not even touching the kli? So if the ma'isa shvira is done to the kli, then you could say okay maybe we'll go basar mikara or maybe basar tavma. But if it's done to a separate object, you can't say that. So that's the svar of shuta, and that's tosas of job. Now um, Rav Nachman gives a second way to look. Look at the Gemara, and we'll use that for the Rosh. He says, it's not about the Maisa at all. It's all about the Kli. It's a Kli that's only made the Shavar. It's, it's going to be dan- it's gonna be broken. Is that enough? It's, if it's only the Shavar, is that enough to say that it's already Kishavar Dhamma? Kishavar Dhamma. It's already broken. Right? So, so with that, we could, if it comes out well, we could explain why he argues on Tosos in regards to an Eben or Kates. Because he holds, it's all about, is this going to be broken? Is it only the Shavar? So who cares if I'm holding the object or if I'm holding the stone? Is the object going to be broken or not? That's what it comes down to. So it works well, and that's, that's going to be the Shurash Machlechus. Is it a din in the Risa, or is it a din in the Kli? And then, I have a Tosu said that if we say Basar Meikara, we'll never have a case of Tzoros. So according to the Rush, how would he have a case of Tzoros? Rush will say, no, that's only you who link automatically Basar Meikara to Gufo. But according to the Rush, he holds that what is, what's the definition of Ufo and what's the definition of Tzoros? Ufo is something that is attached to the, to the Guf HaMazak, and Tzoros is going to be something that's not attached. So over here in our case, if we go by the beginning, meet by the animal stepping on the Kli, that's still attached. But if we go by the end, when it rolls away, then it's not attached. So he'll say by fates that even if you go by some Eikar, that's just when it was broken. It was, broken. it was considered broken from the beginning. But how was it broken? It was broken through a chetz, breaking the other object. And the other object is not going to be attached. So therefore, even though you say Basar Meikara, it could still be a case of Tzoros. So all is good, and there's a machlekes, but it stems from two different ways of reading the Gemara, so that's fine. But just, just the question that we had was, what will the, what will the rush answer for the Marikash's question, of what's the comparison to the Gemara if one has Kavan and one doesn't? But now, now it seems very clear from the way we learn the Machlechus. Because according to Tosos, the whole Machlechus was based off of mice. So then you could ask, okay, but there are two different types of mice. One has Kavana, one doesn't. <coughs> but according to the Rush, the question never begins. Because it's all about, is this Kli, I'm in the Shabbat. 
And the fact that whether or not you have kavana has no effect on whether or not it's going to be broken or not. Right. Right.